Good day, everybody. My name is Smart. Today, we'll be talking about arpeggio. Arpeggios. So, arpeggios is just like a chord which is being played one by one. And this consists of many octaves. It can consist of two or three. Now, let me say, for example, this C chord now, C major chord, and this C major chord for the next octave. If I'm to play a pedro on C major now, I have to play it C A G C A G C G A C G A C. Now, let me take this lower. This C, which I play with my finger five, I'm taking on the left hand now. C with finger five. E with finger three. And this is G with finger 2. Now, the next octave of C is played with finger 1. I cross. This girl will have a bit difficulty, but you can conquer it with constant practice. So, I cross with finger 3. G, finger 2. And then C again with finger 1. So, one can see that the thumb goes with C and C. C and then C. So if I'm going again now, this C, E, finger 3, G, finger 2, C, finger 1, E, finger 3, G, finger 2, and then C. And I'm coming back the same way. C, finger 1, G, finger 2, E, finger 3. C, finger 1, G, finger 2, E, finger 3, and then C. So if I'm to go straight now, C, E, G, C, G, E, C, G, C. So, the same way now, my, this is my right hand, C, finger 1, E. Remember we are doing for chord. Chord. C major chord. C major chord. Now, C. E. Finger 2. G. Finger 3. I cross now. My thumb. C. Finger 2. E. Finger 3. G. And then the pinky, which is the finger 5. And C. Now, if I'm returning in the same manner. C, G, E, C, E, C, G, E, C. So, now, I have to practice the time separately. Then you think of combining now. So, when you have practiced your left, Separately. Now I try to combine. So, thank you very much. Next time we'll be talking about, um, I guess we'll be doing our pages.